Mark Sonnen, a freshman from St. Paul, Minnesota. Nice little play to shoot that ball before he came down. Mm -hmm. Ball sort of hit the top of the backboard. The UCLA transfer, stand back. And Sonnen is there to collect it. They have the best record in school history in the conference, 15-3 in the Missouri Valley. Rear with the screen, the switch on defense, and Cook locates the open son in for three. And to go inside with James, and he was jarred free from the ball. He just took it into trouble. Yep. We got Northern Iowa 4 12, and the running Rebels are 4 10 from the field. And approaching eight minutes gone here in the first half. Not a surprise the defense has been the dominant feature so far in this game. Shaw's pretty good outside shooter. Yeah, he is. He's battled kind of a bad ankle. But he got, he, he twists an ankle in a warm-up line earlier this season. In the regular year in the Mountain West. And he just slapped Lucas O'Rear across the nose. Starters getting ready to come back in. Jake Cook finds a double down low. On the ball to buy taken. Sure. And yeah. they, they force turnovers. Here is Marshall. Little screen by Shaw. And Shaw again from outside. He's a two. Ego seater. Shaw is a very fine outside shooter. And they can get him with that little pick and pop play. Here's Adam Cook. Outstanding three point shooter. Actually shoots 43% from out there. Northern Iowa has not shot very well to start this game. No, they haven't. It's been very good defensive pressure by UNLV. The missed three by Cook and a good-looking rebound inside. Lassoed by Hawkins, and here come the Rebels, led by Marshall. That's what UNLV wants to do is fourth Northern Iowa into that perimeter jump shot. Eggleseeder had his hand out, and it was just right in front of him, stolen. Just picked off by Hawkins, and that is the conversion. Continues to shoot the ball fairly well. Right now, 7 to 14, 50% turnover. Anthony on it from CBS with the national champion running Rebels. Nice pass inside with another assist, a laser shot by Willis. And a basket from Shaw, who has started three of three. Well, Shaw has come off the bench, and he has really done a nice job for UNLV. A hell of a Moran for Oakmanesh with the triple. Right down the middle. They They're not shooting very well, and they've got to get some things going offensively. UNLV holds their opponents to under 40% from the field, and same kind of defensive numbers for UNI. Really trying to work the ball to Shaw. Why not? He's got the hot hand. 3 and 3. O'Rear is on him. Three points a game, but they play a lot of different people. Eleven different guys have averaged double-figure minutes for them. Uh, go the other way. Shaw's been the hot hand so far for the Rebels. He has nine of UNLV's last 12 points. Where they're just making it very difficult for Northern Iowa to even get into any kind of an offense. This is Moran, a long two. Willis defending. In six minutes a game. One of the best defenders on this team. Eggle Cedar size right there. Three running rebels around him, and Willis cleans it inside. They push it hard the other way. Jones had it. Now back to Belfield. Here comes that high screen by Shaw. Washington Marquette is on deck for some of you. Take four teams. One of eight coaches who take took four teams. Illinois State tournament. K State, Florida, and UNLV. See if they can get Eggleseeder inside. Oh, and that's what they were looking for with a nice catch, and it goes down. percent free throw shooters, and normally pretty effective at the line. A little fanning right there. Here comes Shaw with that screen that has been so difficult to defend. Good point. Pick and pop try right there. They go down low. Bellfield a three, Son and defending. Eggleseeder comes up with another rebound. Number six is what he claims right there. More than Iowa, 9 of 23. UNLV, 9 of 21. That's a long three by Cook. Well, I thought he missed Eagle Cedar on the inside. I think they really have to look for the big fella down low. 
because they haven't stopped him so far. Will, uh, this is Shaw. The overmatch of their advantage, and UNLV has an advantage with Shaw on the outside, but Northern Iowa has an advantage with Angle Cedar on the inside. Six eight man Shaw from Los Angeles has hit a couple of threes. He's got 12 points. He's a perfect four of four so far for the Wright Rebels. That's a turnover. Off the more quickly than Northern Iowa is comfortable with. For Oak Manesh has come back out for the Panthers. The other cook, the senior cook, Adam Cook, has come back out. His brother remains on the floor. Sonnen on the floor. And Moran is out there for Northern Iowa. Belfield, they swing it around. Here is a long shot. Steve Jones picked up by Shaw, and they'll reload. See, Abel Cedar's not in there, so Shaw suddenly becomes the biggest guy on the court, and he gets the offensive rebound. Good point. Setting a screen. Switch on defense. On that now, Moran's trying to match up with Shaw inside. That's a tremendous mismatch. Good pickup. They go inside, and they're looking for Marshall. And the defense is right there to put their clock in. And then Martin, and look at this. Marshall comes up and, oh, and he puts it up high. Maker in this game, each time that he has come in the game, he has changed the tempo of the game and swung it in favor of UNLV. They just, Northern Iowa just can't match up with him so far. Here comes on in the other way. Gene Cook. Some congestion inside. Marshall claims the loose ball for UNLV. Marshall and Stanback looking for Shaw. That's, that's a denial that's inside. That's a great job by Sonnen. He's given up five or six inches to Shaw inside and still tips it away. Look at Moran. Moran has got his first two tonight. It's been a tough night so far for Moran, but the young man's hung in there. Now he's matched up against Shaw. We're in the midst of our sixth tie. Two and a half to play in the first half. They look for Shaw, who's got a game off the Northern Iowa bench. Those will be the Nukes. Substitutions at the next dead ball. And Ben Jacobson seeing Masamba at the bench. He knows Eagle Cedar can match up against him. He's going to put Eagle Cedar back in. But Sean has been the guy that can't match up is Adam Cook. Sweet. For, for, for sweet. <laughs> Good explanation. <laughs> Stand up. We're starting to do a nice job to clear on. Trayvon Willis and open up some room and for Oak Manesh will come the other way for the Panthers into Belfield and right into the defense of Shaw Belfield the other way and Moran is hurt bring in Anthony James under a minute to play Vegas is led by as many as eight Belfield snapping it outside this is Trayvon Willis with a big time three to put the Rebels on top. 11 points for Willis. And Willis, he only shoots 29% from beyond the arc, but he's this is the guy's the score. You give him an open shot, he's gonna make it. Looking down low. Well, he was trying to throw a pass. Nobody home. home. Yep. Trying to shoot the half-court shot. I don't think that was the play. Rebels can hold it for the last shot if they so choose. Time out. Half, but you would expect Trayvon Willis to handle this ball at some point in this final play. Either the guy is going to take the shot or is going to try to drive and create the shot for somebody else. Matched up against Sonnen. 46% shooting for Nevada Las Vegas. For Oak Manesh is defending. Trayvon Willis picked up by the freshman Sonnen. Belfield for three. 